Good afternoon, and uh, I have a question for you this afternoon. This will be question number two, and uh, is what I'll refer to this teaching. And the question is this, um, what is the one thing that the scripture declares that the Torah is not able to do? And have you, have you, have you thought that out? Have you read through the scriptures to, to know the answer to that question? And I'm going to deal with that in this session. And, and show you what the scripture has to say that the Torah or the law it's, it's referred to as the law in, in a lot of our English translations especially in the in the the uh, New Testament or the Berit Hadashah and uh, so we're going to talk about what the scripture has to declare that there's one thing about the Torah uh, that's the, of course the first five books of the scriptures and uh, it talks about that there's one thing the Torah could not do and let's talk about that um, and I'm going to read from the book of Galatians chapter 3 and this is the writing of the Apostle Paul or Shaul in Hebrew and uh, I'm going to start reading at uh, verse uh, 21 it says is the law again I'm reading from an English translation but the word really would be Torah in the Hebrew because this is what it's talking about is the Torah against the promises of Yahuwah for if, then he says, it's actually in my English translation, it says, God forbid, but again, it's, it's, it's the word uh, for, for God is Eluahim. Um, says, uh, for if there had been a law or Torah given, which could have given life, truly righteousness should have been by the Torah. Now, what Paul is making reference to is that if righteousness to be in right standing we're talking about right what righteousness is righteousness is to be in right standing of course with Yahuwah it's not and we can't approach him in our own righteousness because the scripture declares that our righteousness are as filthy rags so we have to approach him in his righteousness well if you could attain to his righteousness by the Torah then then it's right here it says you know that that was the one thing that the Torah could not do in that it, you could not attain unto the righteousness of Yahuwah and also you could not have could not uh, obtain life see it says that uh, for if there had been a law given or Torah given which could have given life truly righteousness should have been by the Torah in other words if if just keeping the Torah keeping the commandments of Yahuwah would have given man eternal life then there would be, first of all, there would be no need for a savior. There would be no need for a Mashiach to die and pay the price for our sins and be our righteousness and become our righteousness. Um, so that's the point he's making right here in this verse here, that the Torah could not give life. That's the only, the only way you can have life is by receiving the Mashiach because he said himself, he that believeth on me shall have everlasting life <laughs> so you have to believe on the Mashiach in order to have eternal life thank you for joining me this afternoon and I'll share some more in our next session and please share this with others and thank you for your uh, support Shalom